I, uh, I grew up in Cary uh, when Cary was actually a small town. Um, and both my parents attended Appalachian. Uh, originally, I thought I wanted to break the tradition and, and not go to Appalachian. I had my heart set on Duke. And then my senior year, I took a tour uh, the campus at Appalachian because my parents urged me to and, and really fell in love and that's kind of what, what brought me from, from Cary to Appalachian. I grew up in Warrington, Virginia and I never would have found out about Appalachian um, until I decided I wanted to play field hockey in college and wanted to try to get recruited and I got a letter in the mail from the coach and I was like oh what, what's this Appalachian State but, you know that was back when I called it that but then I looked you know looked, did some research online and started to realize that you know it looks beautiful it's a, a bigger school than I realized um, not that far away from my family but also far enough. Uh, being a student in Appalachian was definitely one of the most enjoyable times of my life so far. Um, I met a lot of great people. I was lucky to be involved in a lot of organizations on campus, uh, student ambassadors being one of them that have it's really shaped my life. Uh, but that, you know, I would say it was a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a lot, got to do some traveling. I liked being involved in different things on campus, being a field hockey player. Um, you know, being a student ambassador, and those two things right there were huge because they, they basically ended up defining my experience. It was a, you know, it was, I just loved it. Eric and I met uh, on campus. Uh, we were having kind of recruiting session for student ambassadors, and I remember meeting her. I was attracted to her, you know, immediately. No, I do not remember meeting him for the first time at all. I was, he was already in the organization and I was, you know, coming out to try out to be an ambassador, which is just an incredibly intimidating thing. It's just a room of people and you just go talk to them, like, go. So that was terrifying for me. I had to pursue her for a while, but a little pestering on my part. I'm a little persistent in a good way. Our uh, friendship or, you know, getting to know each other mostly started on instant messenger, <laughs> I think. But that was kind of how I realized how funny he is and started to be like, okay, this, this guy's pretty cool. Um, so he wore me down <laughs> and I'm glad, <laughs> and I'm glad. There's reasons to like me. I didn't have to completely wear her down, but here we are today, you know, almost seven years later and um, I'm very fortunate to have met her um, at Appalachian. So our company that's located here is called Direct Digital. Uh, contrary to what our name sounds like, we are a dietary supplement company and we're in approximately uh, 14 countries with the U.S. and Canada uh, being predominant areas for us. And we have about 10 products right now that we sell. Uh, I think my education at Appalachian definitely prepared me for what I'm doing now. I'm not necessarily doing everything that I studied. I majored in marketing and political science and I think one of the big things is not so much your degree or the specifics that you learn sometimes, but you're prepared to learn and you become a sponge while you're in college and it gets your mind ready to, to learn new things as you get into the world and I think that's probably the biggest thing for me. Yeah, and I got a degree in accounting, so masters and all of that. I went to work for PricewaterhouseCoopers and that was just a great experience. I was there for almost four years. But for me, I think the biggest thing that Appalachian prepared me for is relationships and I knew all my professors cared about me and I built relationships with them and with my fellow students and I thought the type of programs at Appalachian try to build that and reinforce that so um, it's important to me and us to support student scholarships at Appalachian since we were given so much you know I wouldn't have been able to go there at all if it weren't for scholarships there's just so many opportunities and we just want to continue to pay it forward both of us are, are products of scholarships, her uh, with an athletic scholarship for field hockey, and then I was a C.B. Jones uh, scholarship recipient. I got academic ones too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and so... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just had to make sure yep. that Okay, we there. could start that over then. <laughs> It's important to get credit where credit is due, and she worked very hard in college and in high school, so you, you were smarter than me and certainly deserve credit. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry.
Okay. So anyway, it, it's very important for us to support various scholarship programs across the university uh, to make sure that students have the opportunity to go to college and uh, we try our best to, to pay it forward like Erica was saying for all students uh, when they can't afford it to make sure they can attend and get a quality education in Appalachian is certainly a place that we'd like for people to be able to experience the same results as us. I, I love going back to Appalachian you know as Brandon's wife with Brandon. Oh, it's great. And uh, it's great for us to go back as a couple. I think one of the, the biggest things for us is we share so many common memories. And, you know, it's not a question of being torn between two schools when it's time for homecoming. We go back, we have the same feelings, giving back to the university, there's no question. I mean, I think anyone who knew us while we were there, all of our friends, you know, know how much we both individually love that place, how much it shaped who we are today. And to be able to have that history, you know, with someone at a place that's so special to you and to be, able, you know, just walking back in those doors, we both know how happy we are to be there and, you know, how much like home it feels. And so, all that stuff, you don't have to explain to each other why anything's important, you just know. So it's really special to me that we share that. It's just great to have shared the same thing in your life together and you kind of have that interwoven identity that's between both of you uh, that, you know, not everyone gets to experience that. I'm, I'm lucky that we do, but it, it definitely makes us closer.